I think this is the last question. What do you think as a designer or as, as an architect about the Museum of African American history in Washington, D.C.? Uh, whether you like that it has that color, does it represent you? Uh, the, the scale, the location, everything. Thank you. You have a building that was designed by two black men, Phil Freelon, probably the most famous um, American black architect, and Sir David Ajay in his office. And it's in one of the most prominent locations within DC on the mall, which basically says, we helped build this country, we're here, finally freaking acknowledge us. And so that in and of itself is a very powerful gesture. And I'm going there for the first time this summer because I want a very prestigious research grant to go and see the place and go through the, archi to go through the archives and do more research on black spaces. And that's the first place I'm gonna go visit. And I'm gonna hopefully stand there and marvel at such a large gargantuan building that black people designed in a city that black people weren't wanted in a country where we weren't acknowledged, in a place where we didn't have rights, in a place where my parents who grew up in Mississippi and Arkansas had to deal with a whole lot of racial discrimination that I can't even explain or attempt to deal with. I get mad when somebody stands like four feet away from me and I'm the approachable black guy. So I can only imagine how they feel. And you guys are laughing, but it's true. Like there really, there really are these social standards of the approachable black guy versus the non-approachable black guy. And it's usually based off of skin color and stature. I'm vertically challenged, so it makes me less dangerous. And then I guess my Scandinavian ancestry makes me lighter. So now I'm even more um, less uh, dangerous. But these are things that we deal with in the built environment. And I'm just very happy that we finally have that structure. And now I hope that we have more structures that don't necessarily have to be by a star architect, but can be made by a regular architect that just happens to be black. And then we no longer have to say, look at that black building, it's just look at that dope piece of architecture.